One of the many titles that Jesus goes by is that he is the good shepherd. And in John chapter 10, Jesus tells us that his sheep hear his voice and he calls out his own sheep by name and leads them out and the sheep follow him and they know his voice. Mary was in a conversation with Jesus, but it wasn't until he called her name that she realized it. Mary. To which she turned and said, Rabboni. There's something really interesting to note in here that Jesus says. He refers to God as Father 180 times in this Gospel of John. 180. 71 of those times he calls God the Father. 27 times he calls him my Father. Now in verse 17 he tells Mary, Go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father. To my God and your God. After Jesus' death and resurrection, everything changed. Realize without Christ dying for us, we are at enmity with God. Dead in our transgressions and our sins, as Paul writes throughout his epistles, especially highlighted in Ephesians chapter 2. Since Jesus rose from the dead, everything has changed. My Father is now your Father. My God becomes your God. You are now my brothers and sisters. Everything has been radically altered in their world. And this is evident in John's first chapter in verses 12 and 13. To all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So that's a promise to all who receive him. All who believe in his name. That we become adopted children of God. That is when God becomes your father, your God, and Jesus becomes your brother. If you're here from another religious background, or perhaps you would describe yourself as having no religious background, I want to point out this is a uniquely personal call for you. It's so personal that he literally went to the cross thinking of you. Think about that. It's heartwarming. It's also horrifying because his father was thinking of you when he poured out upon Jesus his hatred for sin. Our sin that made this death, this kind of death, necessary. This is what we call substitutionary or vicarious atonement. And the work he did on Good Friday, along with his living a righteous life leading up to that, leads to the opportunity for our sins to be paid in full by Jesus on our behalf. Will you allow today to be the day when you get right with your God? Will you accept Jesus' work on your behalf? Will you repent and believe in him? Will you acknowledge Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Speak with the person who invited you here, or myself, or Paul, or Mike, or one of our deacons, Dennis, Greg, and Mike afterwards. If you have any questions about what it would look like to know God as your father and Jesus as your brother, Because today could be the day that, for you, everything changes. For you, he becomes your God.
your father and Jesus becomes your brother. Remember that folded face cloth lying by itself? Have you ever wondered why it was in the gospel? People in Jesus' day would have known. If we put it in the right context, many today would know as well. Think of a servant in Jesus' day. He's going to stand off to the side and he's going to watch his master. He's going to be out of view of the other guests. He's going to watch his master enjoying his meal. A waiter in a good restaurant does this too. At the end of the meal, when you have a beard especially, you wipe your face and you clean your beard. You signal that you're done by dropping it on the table. But if you're going to leave for a short period of time and you're coming back, you take this off of your lap, you fold it up. I'll be back. When Peter and John saw the face cloth which had been on Jesus' face, not lying with the linen cloth, but folded up in a place by itself, they believed. And so can we. Our Master will return. Father God, thank you for the fact that our Master will return. Please be with us as we leave here today. Be with this congregation and let us glorify you in how we celebrate this Resurrection Day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.